Hi, I'm Greg Patton. Welcome to my kitchen and yes, you can cook. Today we're going to be making our own homemade baking mix, which only has five ingredients, but since we're going to be doing baking, I wanted to go over with you some of the methods of measuring in baking. First are the measuring cups for dry ingredients and they come in a nested set starting with a quarter cup, third cup, half cup, and one cup. And you have to make sure that you use these for dry ingredients. And then we have a series of measuring spoons, also a nested set, starting with a quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, one teaspoon, and one tablespoon. And there are three teaspoons and one tablespoon. And you can measure dry and liquid with that. And then next to it is a one cup measure, which is a liquid measure, and I want you to notice that where it says one cup, there is a line well below the lip. So do not measure dry ingredients with that liquid cup. You only use it for wet ingredients. So now that we've gotten our measuring uh, out of the way, let's measure some flour. And baking always begins with flour. And we're going to start with organic white flour. And I'm going to take the one cup measure and I'm going to dip it into my bowl here, my container, and just level it off. And then I'm going to take a half cup measure, do the same thing, and level it off. That's how we will measure the flour. And I have six and a half cups of flour in here. Now, if you want, you can add half whole wheat flour and make sure it's also organic. And then I'm going to add one cup of instant non-fat dry milk, a tablespoon of salt, and three tablespoons of baking powder and then I'm going to take a whisk and just whisk this all around. And the whole point of making your homemade baking mix is that you control what goes into it. There are no extra additives and there's only healthy things that are going into your baking mix. And that's why I'm a great fan of it and also you can make all kinds of things from flapjacks to fancy cakes and so we have a total of six and a half cups of flour in here, and now I'm adding two cups of shortening that is frozen. And I buy Crisco vegetable shortening. I buy the sticks. Each stick is one cup. So this is two cups that I have stuck in the freezer for several hours. It never really freezes uh, particularly solid, but it freezes solid enough that it cuts into the flour easily. And what I'm using here let me just clear this away for you, is something called a pastry blender. And this is a little gadget that has five little blades in it. And you can make pie crust with it anytime you need to cut shortening or butter into flour. You will use a pastry blender. If you have a food processor, you can divide the ingredients in half and then do the whole thing in the food processor in just a few seconds. What you want to do is Make sure that your shortening is very fine. And here's another thing you can do. You can just get in with your hands and then just rub everything together like this very quickly. You don't want to grasp onto it because you're going to melt the shortening, get it too soft. And you want this to be in kind of fine particles. So let me just clear this all away. And then I will pour out some mix that I've already made and just want to show you. See how fine this is? It's just nice and powdery. This keeps at room temperature. Uh, you'll have about nine cups. You can make, as I said, flapjacks, biscuits, muffins, cakes, all kinds of things. And I encourage you to do this at home and you will be very, very happy. And uh, here are a number of things that I already made to show you what you can do with the baking mix. Some cheese biscuits which go together in just really a few seconds. And here are orange muffins, but you can flavor these muffins with anything. You can put raisins, cranberries. Um, this one just has some orange zest in it. Very delicious. And then here is a lemon buttermilk pound cake, which mixes up in three minutes with an electric mixer and I can't imagine anything more elegant or simple from the baking mix. So, happy baking!